Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to episode 1 of Web Development Basics. In this series, we are going to learn about HTML, which is the markup language. It's not technically a programming language, but it's the language that's the base language that's used for the web. This series is going to cover in depth HTML, uh, and after a little while, we're going to have a couple of other series that will cover um, things like JavaScript and PHP. So we'll have basically a collection of series that all deal with the web, and you would start with your basic HTML, then you can add JavaScript and PHP to your um, website, and then you could have fully functioning uh, dynamic website, pretty much. Um, so in order to get started, we're going to want an IDE. Even though we're just using HTML right now, uh, it's still nice to have an IDE that will, you know, auto-complete and suggest and help us with everything. So we're going to use PHP Storm. This is from JetBrains, which is the company that makes IntelliJ. So both PHP Storm and IntelliJ, the interfaces are almost identical. You can actually write HTML, PHP, JavaScript in IntelliJ, but I'm going to just have PHP Storm because it is separate. Now it is a 30-day trial, and I don't think that there's a free version available like there is for IntelliJ. Yeah, there isn't. So you might need to maybe eventually switch over to IntelliJ for it, but we'll use PHP Storm for now. We're not going to be doing anything with PHP in this series, but it still gives us help with HTML. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open it up. I already have it installed, but you can just grab a free demo from the website, which is in the description. And PHP Storm comes up right here, and I don't have any projects. So let's go ahead and create a new project. I can first choose where I want to put it, and I'm going to go for YouTube, and then we'll say Web Development Basics, and then I'll call this just Website, like that. And we're just going to go for Empty Project, that's fine. So I'm picking the place where I want to store it, and I'm just going to call the project Website. We'll hit OK. Now PHP Storm will come up, and you'll notice that this looks a lot like IntelliJ because it is very similar, except this is made for PHP, obviously. So the first thing we're going to do is over in our project right here, we're going to create a new, um, and we'll say HTML file. And you'll see that you have these different options, HTML5, HTML4, or XHTML. We will go for, I think, HTML4 because we're not going to, at least not yet, do anything with HTML5. Um, it doesn't really matter. They all have the .html file extension. But we're going to name this one index. And it's very important that you have an index.html file because um, this is the page that it will default to. So if I own the domain example.com. If I go to example.com, it's going to redirect me to index.html. So it's very important that you have this, or else the uh, you know this is like your base page for your website. I'm going to just delete everything that's already in here because we're going to start fresh. So the first thing that you're going to note is that everything in PHP is a tag. It's essentially a special word that's inside of diamond brackets and it might have some parameters and you nest all of these different tags in order to create your website. So the first and most important tag, probably, is the HTML tag. Uh, everything inside of the HTML tag is part of your website. Uh, I'm going to tab over. I love to, you know, tab all of my tags so that I can, you know, keep them nice and organized. Uh, but that's just me. So there are two other tags that we need. We need a head tag, and we also need a body tag. Now notice that these not, these go within HTML, but body is not inside of head. They're both at the same level. Now the head tag is where you put all of the sort of stuff that's related to the website but isn't displayed. So like maybe the title of the website 
or any CSS style sheets, which we will do eventually, and other things like that. And the body is going to be the stuff that you actually see. So in the head, we can go ahead and do a title. You would want to put titles in the head because this is the stuff that's not displayed, but that you need to have. So we're going to use the title tag, and you'll notice that all of these tags have a opening tag and then a closing tag, and the closing tag starts with the slash. And that's very important because if I removed this, then the head tag, you know, I don't think it would know where to end necessarily. Maybe it would. But it's nice to keep everything organized so you know where it starts and where it ends. So within the title tag, we can simply write uh, the text that we want to have. So we'll say um, website. You can change that to be whatever you want. Now inside the body, this is the stuff that we can actually display. This is what the person will see. So let's just go ahead and simply write text. We could just write uh, hello world, which is what we're going to do. We could simply write it like that, but let's try to follow HTML standards. And we're going to use the P tag. P means paragraph, and this tag is for a paragraph of text. So inside of the P tag, we can go ahead and write hello world. And now we have a website that has a title in the head and a paragraph in the body. Now in PHP Storm, if you look over here, you'll see a list of browsers. You can look at this page in your browser. That's because um, PHP Storm runs a web server for you, which is why it's so great to have. But however you look at this file rendered in your browser is just fine. So I'm going to choose Safari because that's obviously what I use. And when I click on that, you'll notice that the title is website, you can see right there, and it does in fact say hello world. So as you can see, we have successfully made our uh, first website pretty much. And if you look at the URL, you'll see that, um, you know, IntelliJ or PHP Storm really is running a web server and the project is website and the page is index.html. So this is if you're testing it, if you were to if you wanted to buy a domain name and host it, then you would use a hosting service, but uh, we're just testing it right now. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you before we end the video are just one more way to do, like, you know, one more tag that's related to text. Um, we have the P tag, which represents a paragraph, but if we want to have a heading, we can use the H1, I think it's H1 through H6 tags. So if I type H1 like that, and I refresh the page, you'll see that it's bold and it's bigger, and I think it's actually in a different font. This is the header 1, and it's the biggest possible header. But let's say that we want to have um, an H3. This is the third biggest, I suppose. And we're going to say, how are you today? And if I reload the page, you'll see that it now says, how are you today? And it's in smaller text, but it's still a header. If I want to change this to be P, or paragraph, then you'll see it's now not bold, and it's, I guess it's the same font, but it's not bold, and it's in regular, you know, paragraph form. So that's just the last thing I wanted to show you. You can have headers um, by using the H1 through H6 tag. And also, really quickly, if you want to write a comment, um, which I will do, you start your tag and it's going to be exclamation point dash dash and we're going to say this is the largest header and when you want to end it you do exclamation point dash dash and you close it. So it looks sort of similar to a um, regular tag but again I'm going to do it right here you open the tag, you do exclamation point dash dash, and we're going to say this is a paragraph. And then exclamation point dash dash end. So these comments obviously won't show up on the page, but as a you know web developer, you can stick these comments into your code, and then you can you know kind of remember how certain things work or what certain things do. I'll just go ahead and add one more just because I'm going to have this code in the description. Um, I'll add a website uh, or a title thing and I'm going to say this 
set, if I can spell, the title of the page. And again, we're just going to close that off. All right. So that's all for this video. We downloaded PHP Storm. You can, you know, use whatever IDE you want or simply a text editor if you really wanted to. And we set up a basic page uh, that has a head with a title and a body with a header and a paragraph. So this is, ba you know, essentially the most basic kind of website that you would have. In future e uh, episodes, we're going to look at doing, you know, links and images and lots of other HTML related stuff and eventually we're going to move on to PHP and JavaScript which will let you do um, you know dynamic and you know more advanced and interesting things. So as always subscribe if you want to see more, comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video click the like button and I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.